Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're going out today. We're going to do something that I've been wanting to do. The weather hasn't been cooperating, but today we are in business. So a few weeks back, we did a specific video on the T-bone, the boondocks T-bone and the boat. Well, today we're going to actually take the boat. It's one thing of putting it on at the garage. It's another thing entirely uh, of putting it on, putting it out at the lake. So that's what we're going to do today. Okay, as you can see, we're all loaded up and ready to go. Got the flag on there, T-bone is tied down, ready to go. And I promise you, this boat wouldn't fly off of there if you wanted it to. So we got all our stuff on here. We've done a good job and um, got the boat all wired up. So uh, yeah, it's taking some time, but today we're just gonna do a test run on the water just to see if everything is working right. And then we're coming back. So hang on. Okay guys, we're gonna do a test launch today. Hopefully it won't be too sketchy getting this boat off of you. Alright guys, that wasn't uh, extremely easy, it took me about 8 minutes to launch the entire boat, putting the trolling motor in and also the battery, both of which are kind of heavy. Battery is about 56 pounds and the trolling motor with the, um, whatchamacallit, transducer on the back is a little heavy. so. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. This is a very steep ramp, so it's certainly not what you might think will be the easiest. It may not be the hardest either. So we've got the boat launch. I'm gonna park the truck, take the boat out for its first maiden voyage. Okay, first order of business is moving the battery all the way to the back because when I'm flying solo or sailing solo, however you want to put it, I need to wait as much as I can to be in the back because I sit in the middle. So we're gonna get on here, slide the battery all the way to the back and hook it up. So if I can get in without capsizing the boat, we will be in business. So hang on tea hats we're gonna get this baby done okay guys we had the first major fail the transducer cable will not plug into the back of my fish finder I believe there's an extension cable that I didn't bring haven't fitted that to that yet so we'll have to check the water depth and temperature next time but let's get out on the water and see how this baby rides okay guys we are rolling right along in the pelican in NXT. Not sure if I like this uh, front trolling motor setup. I've never run my trolling motors off the front of a Pelican. Always traditionally I've had them in the back. Seems to move out pretty good. 55 pound thrust. This is wide open though, so we'll have to see. Even with the battery located all the way in the back, I'm still a little front heavy. I would like to be able to move my seat a little further back, but then if I do that, I'll be steering with my feet, <laughs> which ain't a terrible thing. <laughs> I could probably get me an extension to put onto that pole, but we'll see. Cause sometimes I'll have the outboard back but this is why we're doing this trip. I didn't bring any poles or anything with all the confusion getting out here. 
this late in the evening. It's four o'clock. We're gonna be in rush hour, as they call it in Virginia, rush hour traffic going back. So we just wanted to kind of get a baseline of how everything was gonna work out here. So we'll adjust for the next trip when we actually go fishing. Uh, and for those guys who follow the uh, Fisher Amen channel that I have, uh, yeah, we'll be going for some snakeheads real soon, as soon as the water starts to warm up and the weather uh, gets some, some days that are sustained, so we'll see. Okay guys, we demonstrated on getting the boat in the water. Let's see if it's as easy to get it out of the water. Very, very steep. It goes straight uphill. So yeah, but down here it's pretty level. So yeah, it's it's not easy getting that boat on and off by myself. So will we get a trailer and put on the back? I don't know, but we gotta come up with something a little better than this.